Where are we going? Hello, hello. Good at good evening, ladies. Welcome. So we have a no diet or no calorie diet on the menu. And it is um, very good diet. Um, I'm not sure about the affordable, you know, like, like every other diet, it's not very affordable, but um, I think it's a doable kind of diet. What do you think, Young Sue? Oh, yeah. Yes. No, col free cholesterol. Free yeah. Sugar. yeah, free on, uh, free every sugar free. Sugar free, free cholesterol. cholesterol. No carbs. Yeah, no carbs. Yeah, we have a very good recipe for you guys. Hi, Sandra. To yeah, all of you guys over in YouTube, uh, Kindle and iPad land, hello, welcome. Please uh, subscribe, share the video, and jump on in. Don't be scared. Um, we have a, what do you call it, winging it kind of night. But we're also going to talk her. about, yeah, we're also going to talk about a wonderful diet for those of you guys that are um, wanting a good diet. High on fiber, very good on a fiber list. Yes, very good. Oh, yes. High fiber. Yeah, yeah, very, very recommended. And Eric, en Eric enjoyed it. I yeah. really enjoyed it. it was yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a very, very, very good diet. Oh yes, very much so. You know, I forgot to share the video on the groups. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Okay. It's okay. I, was, I could do it later. Yeah, I'll do it later. That's all right. I do it. I do it right now. It's a Saturday, and you know everyone's probably doing stuff. But guys, um, speaking of our diet, it's a wonderful diet. I recommend it to every woman out there. Man, will keep that man on his tiptoes. He's not going to ask you to cook ever again. <laughs> <laughs> It's a perfect way to get that man to tell you to just lay off the stove. <laughs> anyway, so you guys probably have not, for those of you guys that have not seen my video, I was cooking up some laces, and of course, Eric had a funny reaction to that. And, um, Brianna was recording, uh, was going to record me doing the the laces and then he came up with that and I thought oh this is perfect perfect and he's like shut it off <laughs> so and and he off. says what are you cooking you said beans just laces. <laughs> he's like what is that <laughs> he really thought I was cooking something good <laughs> yeah he's not He's always asking me, what are you cooking? What are you cooking? <laughs> what are you baking? Uh-huh. Got a really good response today. Anyway, so today I went over to Dollar Tree, not today, but the other day, and I bought this little chair organizing storage little doodad, and it's it's... Not my style. It's not my style. Um, it's not something that I would want in my craft room, but I'm sure that, you know, it's doable for like cars. If you've got kid, little kids and you want to put stuff in it, you can put it in the back of the car chair. And that way you can put their little stuff in there. But I didn't like it for my craft room and it is this little storage thing and it has elastic on it. Um, I broke the elastic because I didn't, I didn't care, but it's, it's, you know, oh, and I'm yeah, sure I'll probably you. figure out what to use it for something else. But for a dollar, it's the perfect pattern to make our little chair organizer. Um, now I cut, I cut it differently. But it, if you fold it in half, and you get a really good canvas. Now, I was able to get Joann's has a 60% regular price. Hi, Aristi. Regular price, 60% um, off any regular price item. So, of course, they're very sneaky about this. 
none of their fabrics are um they put their fabrics all their fabric at 30 percent off that's because they don't want you to use that 60 percent coupon they're very smart about that um yes so i was able to find a piece in the remnant section and and it was perfect for this project plus i've been working on some little tags and paper clip tags and I ran out of canvas because I've been using all my scraps. So I said, well, let me get some more remnants and highly upset. What is a chair organized? Oh, you're going to find out. <laughs> it is something we can hang on our chairs uh, on the side, like the armrest or, you know, if you don't have an armrest, maybe um, like I have an office chair that has an open armrest and I can slide this in or tie it in or Velcro it in. Um, but if you don't have that, then you have, you can probably do like this one had the Velcro or the elastic. I cut it up and you can slide this in with the elastic stretch up to put it on your chair. You can do it this way. I just, I just, um, I don't like this cheap stuff. Hi, Tina. So what I did is I took the canvas and I folded it in half and pinned it in half. And then I took this little canvas or this little thing because it's a dollar perfect for a, um, you know, it's perfect for a, a uh, pattern. And... I, of course, did not use this shape, as you can see. I went straight. So I went straight, and I went not only straight. I'm going to flip it this way so you can see it. You see it better this way. So I, I used my scissors, cut around, and I went straight here and out this way um, because it's more doable for my chair. So it all depends on your chair and whether or not you have the open armrest. And then once you have this, of course, I'm not a seamstress, so we're not worrying about perfection. I'm not even going to, this is fancy for me. This all this little cleaning up your edges. That's too fancy for me. I went and grabbed another piece of the canvas that was left because I got a less than a half of a yard. And... I cut one piece, which is 15 and a half, but you know, it all depends on your piece that you're going to do. And you can probably use an apron. Hi, Tina. Oh, I think I already said hi, Tina. Um, <laughs> but you can probably use an old apron too. This is, this almost looks like an apron. If you, if you look at it carefully, it looks like the pattern of an apron. Yes. So even if you took an old apron and did that, you have yourself a little storage share um, organizer. So mine is 15 inches by nine and a half inches, the first one. And then the second one is, that one I didn't even measure it to be honest. I just kind of cut it. I need to get a new Tim Holtz ruler. That one's seven by 15 and a half. And I'm going to do two, but I ran out of canvas, so I'm going to get another one. So this is the first one I did, and I realized I had put the, um, the end seam here, so I did not stitch around here. Um, and that's okay on this because it has the end seam here. What I did differently on this one is first I stitched this here a quarter inch seam allowance straight down. Did not, don't, you don't want to sew that, right? Then um, I went and sewed around here, 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 and I need to go up here. I haven't finished it, so I need to go up here. Um, and then I folded in half, figured out my half marks, made a pencil mark there, pencil mark here, took my ruler, made a line from here to here, and sewed that one. And I did another pocket over here, and I did the same thing. Um, I did a line, so that's where I left off, and that's where we're going to continue. And again, I'm not a seamstress; don't want to be either. God didn't make me to be a seamstress. <laughs> don't care to be a seamstress. You don't have to listen, Well, I don't like measuring. 
And that's okay. really his cutting patterns out. And I'm chewing on ice. So don't mind me. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew that down. I'm going to finish this one here because I realized I didn't sew that there. And then, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to the body of this. And I guess I could have, you know, in a real May world or real world, I would have um, not even bothered doing these two side pieces. Yes, on the top and here, but these side pieces wasn't really necessary because I have to stitch it there anyway, right? Hi, Joe. Um, and so once we have this, I'm going to go. So, 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 I don't mind the fraying. I love the fraying because it just gives it that shabby, tattered look. And I'm all about that. Here, I'm going to miter that corner a little bit, probably round it off a little. Like so. And then I'm going to go in and sew all this gorgeous stuff. And then we're going to decorate it. And I'm just going to decorate it my way. Okay? So let me go. Let's go over here. Young Sue's going to talk to you while I'm sewing. And she's going to tell you about this wonderful thing called a diet. <laughs> <laughs> well, May was cooking <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> Have you seen her Facebook or her her YouTube channel? She was cooking. I wasn't gonna do it to YouTube, but I thought, you know what? This was funny. The reaction on his face. <laughs> it was very funny. He thought he was gonna get a pot of soup or some chili or something. <laughs> Mr. Eric Lawson thought he was getting good, good dinner tonight. <laughs> and I thought I was having a good lunch. You no. thought you were... <laughs> it was a free, no cholesterol diet, no sugar, no carb. That's the perfect diet. Was, <laughs> it was just a free everything. But it had a lot of fiber. Lots of fiber, <laughs> but she was cooking the lace and fruits. You're funny, young Sue. That was what she was cooking. <laughs> that was their dinner. That was a dinner. <coughs> I, I said that was good. I bet. I think that was lunch. <laughs> that was lunch. I think, young Sue. <laughs> Well, we have to be funny. We have to entertain these ladies here. I don't sing and I don't dance like Shirley Temple, like you may, so I got to entertain them the other way. You don't sing and you don't dance? I don't dance. I don't, I, I don't sing. If I had my dad's voice, I would have sing, but I got my mom's voice, so no. You don't sound like a, do you sound like a rooster? Yes, I sound like a rooster. <laughs> or, or, or a death mouse. <laughs> well, I like singing. It doesn't mean I know how to sing. I just sing. I don't, I, I don't, I, I always have the voice. voice. I always sing. has a pretty voice, singing voice. I, I never have, I'm, I always sing out of tune and I never know the lyrics. And make up my own lyrics because I'm horrible at memorizing lyrics. If I had your voice, me, I don't care if I know the lyrics or not. I will sing. I just oh, love it. <laughs> well, I I thank you, but I I my kids make fun of me. They're like, Mom, when are you gonna learn the lyrics to that song? You've only heard it like 20 million times, and I'm like, I don't know. When God tells me I need to memorize that song for whatever reason. <laughs> Till then, ain't happening. It is not happening. 
I'm not going to be a linear. I'm not going to be rich, so I don't care. No, I'm not either. I'm not either. Okay, so I stitched. I made the, the one line here, and now I've clipped it together, and I'm going to go ahead and stitch all the way around. And then we're going to add Velcro. I was thinking about putting lace because this is going to go on my chair like so. And so I thought the easiest way, was, to, which, which was what Mr. Larson said, we can hear you, young. Oh, oh, higher. Yeah, you probably have to make it louder, young Sue. You're, you're I might. have to scream. Please <laughs> scream. Okay, so I think um, what Eric suggested that I do originally, this is a guy's way of thinking. He said, well, why don't you put a piece of elastic here, a piece of elastic here, and then put some Velcro and attach those that way. And I'm like, why am I going to do that? It's just a waste of elastic. You know, I'm just going to either, either my original plan was to put a piece of ribbon here and here, tie it, um, which was my original idea. And I might do that just in case the Velcro is not strong enough because I'm afraid of the Velcro. And guys, I got Velcro because... You know, Joanne's had a 60% coupon, so I got it really cheap. It was $5.99, $4.99 for the Velcro. And then I bought two things of remnants. Um, my total was five something. So I saved $16. So this was $2.49 and this was $4.43 and half of what it, these two. And then this was four ninety nine, so it totaled up to five something with tax. Oh, I was about to throw the velcro. So I was thinking of using this velcro. I'm just not sure how strong it's going to be. Did your husband like what you were cooking? <laughs> oh yes, yes, he did. He loved it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he was he was he was full of jokes today. He was really serious, full of lots and lots of jokes. Um, nothing like him going in the kitchen. He's all that's what he gets for always asking, What you cooking? What you cooking? Fibers, <laughs> something high in fiber. That's what high I should have done. Something high in fiber. Well, he needs high in fiber, right? Yeah, he doesn't need a cholesterol car. <laughs> so I'm thinking of maybe doing it this way. I'm just hoping that I, um, that this is going to be strong enough. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's give it up. I'm not sure. So we're going to, we're going to play with it. If I find that it isn't, then I will have to come back and attach a piece of ribbon. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and sew this down. Um, and I'm probably going to use glue stick to glue it down and then sew it. Because um, this just works just as good when you get that fabric glue that you want to place your stuff down. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to decorate and make it pretty. When I saw that pot you were using, it, I thought you would, you can give a pet a bath in that pot. <laughs> that is my, um, uh, what do you call it? I use that pot normally, and I told him, I said, you know what? Because I waxed, I don't know if you guys saw the picture, the video I did on wax. Well, here's the thing. I guess I need to put a thing out. Make sure it's an old pot. <laughs> I didn't tell you guys that. Because when you, um, I'm going to have to get a pot. And I'm just going to use that pot because I don't want to now eat out of that pot. Um, <laughs> when, you, when you bake wax paper and it's really hot, um, and this makes it look like the old, if you make the old envelopes and stuff like that, it'd be perfect for that. Like the old vellum. Yes. See, it looks really old. And you can make a nice little envelope. Oh, that's right. But you have to use really hot, hot coffee. And the other thing I was thinking about after I said, you know, submerge it in your hot, hot coffee that's scorching hot. Take two clothespins, clip, clip, 
dip it in. I didn't have any clothespins, so I had to use my fingers. Um, yeah. Or you can take like these little, I guess I could have used my forceps, but these or things the are. Tongue, or the tongue. The tongue yeah, yeah, the prongs from. Um, the tongues. Yeah, but you, the, yeah, those don't hold on really good. Okay. Maybe like forceps. I, I mean, I thought about it. And I'm like, well, you know, the prongs are quick because they're right there in your kitchen. This is good as well, you know, or paper clip or not paper, the clothes pins, and then just dip it in so you're not burning yourself. But it, it makes a huge difference than um, when it's hot because you're you're releasing the wax from it. So it's ready, ready. Um, and I tried Joe's method of baking outdoors instead of in the oven. And Joe, I give you an A A plus plus on that because. Um, let me go back. I know we're off. We're off of what we came here for, but so this is this is Joe's method of coffee dyeing. I don't like tea dyeing. I tried tea dyeing. I don't like the color that I get from tea dyeing at all. Um, I think that coffee gives it a better. Um, coffee's better, I think. Unless you have like black tea. Black tea tends to be a, a little bit on the pricey side of life. Um, so this is baked in the oven. And this is baked in the sun. So I got this idea from Joe. Bake it in the sun. And it worked great. I like the... Oh, those are the ticket thing. tickets though. Yeah, the tickets. I bought these in um, Amazon. Um, big rows of it. I think for... Three rolls, less than ten bucks, I think it was. And, and so I did this. I like the yellow. The yellow looks like really old and vintage, but the red started to uh, the color kind of got lost, and the green too. This is like the somewhat the color, but I like the sun um, sun baking. It's, it looks a lot prettier. It takes a lot longer, but it's a lot prettier. So that's what I did. I was baking. <laughs> and I bake a lot so that I don't have to stop, look, and listen. She, she, she does a paper, wax paper, lace and trim. That's what their, their recipe now. I know. And, you know, I, I do it by the bundle because that way I'm not stopping in the middle of something right. uh, and having to do it. So I try to do big, big lots of it. In one so, Right, and I, um, I have to say that I had to redo my laces because I tried to do it in tea because I said, well, maybe I can get, so it's not that, I don't bake my paper at all. I just hung it in the sun. Yeah, um, I don't have a clothesline, so I have a porch in the front and a porch in the back. Well, the porch in the back is covered. The porch in the front, we get good sun, but, you know, when you take your cookie, your I have specific baking sheets that I bought at Dollar Tree for this stuff. And when you take it out there today, I'm like, oh, my God, and my neighbors probably think I'm so ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> I had all these baking sheets out there. Um, but I did some in the oven, and then I did some outside. I like the, outs I like the outside. So I think I'm going to do that more with, more with more time in my hand. So I like that. Although the wax paper, for sure, I tried it out in the sun. It was better to bake it. Um, the, the effects of it was better in the oven. And when you pull it out of the oven, it looks kind of waxy. And then it just dries the way it dried. Um, you saw that that I just showed you. It looks pretty cool. Anyway, enough about that. Enough about that. All right, let's go to, let's go to the sewing machine. Oh, I lost the ticket. We're going to the sewing machine. Okay. We're going to go to the sewing machine, and I'm just going to probably put two. Oh, 
I'm going to join these two together so that way they're in the right place. From the beginning, from the beginning. Okay. And so we're probably going to do it up here. I'm going to go down maybe about an inch, I'm thinking. Um, because I got to have that seam. Well, now I'm going to go right in. Amy's I want to go here. about a hi, Miss. Hi, Amy. Um, I'm gonna go back and probably about a half of an inch. About a half of an inch, and this is pretty much how I did my wall hanging. If you followed me on my wall hanging, I did something similar. Now you can also, if you happen to go to Hobby Lobby, not that you need to go to Hobby Lobby, guys. Well, you know, we all love Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby in the Springs collection, and these are, um, right now, I think they've got them down to 75% off. If you happen to stumble across, you can cut some of these, and I'll probably cut some of these to add it on. You can cut some of these, and I did this on my wall hanging, and you can use this for your, your pockets as well. Um, and it makes great clutches as well. Wonderful clutches. I've done this for clutches as well. So great for wall hanging, great for um, clutches. Um, and I use a wood hanger, wood hanger, and I kind of wrap this around the wood hanger and then that hang down a little. Young Sue has the one, Young Sue and um, Nancy has the ones that I use with the hangers, right? All right, let's go to the sewing machine so we can decorate this baby. All righty. Hopefully I don't screw it up because I'm notorious for screwing things up, guys. Stuff out of my way here. <laughs> I'm trying to sew, and I got the back of my sewing machine. The table's got stuck. Camping and I in my backyard. 
Let's see now. Do you have it all sewn up? Um, right. Kim is here. Hi, Kim. You're a glue gun girl. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> I am too. And uh, I like my glue gun. You know, I love my glue gun. I do. I Amy do. Amy wants to know. Amy wants to know what you're making. I am making Amy. Um, I bought this at. Um, this is a chair organizer from uh, Dollar Tree. Where did I put the little? And, oh, I lost everything. Okay, so I got this at Dollar Tree. Uh, over. Oh, what the heck is that? Ooh. Coffee. Ooh. Uh, no, it was jelly. <laughs> okay, so you know what I was eating. Um, over the chair storage, it's a permanent chair thingy storage. Um, and it's this little thing here. Look at my hands clean. And it has this elastic on it, and you wrap this on your back of your chair. Perfect for your back of your chair, but who the heck's going to breach in the back of their chair unless you're driving and your kids are in the back seat? Well, I didn't want it for my back seat, and I didn't like the material. No, that's a flimsy material. Yeah. Perfect for your car. I thought, you know what? I'm going to turn my camera on. Excuse the mess and excuse the face, okay? Um... Excuse the mess, excuse the face. My hair, I look like a witch with my hair all sticking out. All right, so this is my chair, my model. <laughs> so this is supposed to go behind here in your car, of course. Um, and I thought, well, if I bring it to my craft room, how the heck am I going to reach over here and grab what I need, right? But on the side of my chair, I can grab a lot of things. But the elastic was not doable, and I didn't like the fabric or the material, this nylon stuff, back. <laughs> so I thought, let's make this baby canvas, and we're going to put that just like so there, and I can grab my stuff on the side of my chair. You like that? <laughs> back to desk cam they're nice for your you like the plastic ones these are great for teachers yes i think they actually make them for teachers um and, and, and for the back of kids the, yeah for the kids and the back i think that what they have on the picture is for um yeah i guess it is for classrooms i don't know guess it's perfect for teachers in classrooms but from the side of my chair, you know, because I'm always sitting there and I can keep things, even if I'm, um, hi, Lourdes, uh, even if I am um, sitting here and I don't, I can keep things on the side of my chair. So I'm going to make another one and, um, and I'm going to put it on the opposite side of my chair, of course. And I thought about first putting a ribbon, but uh, Mr. Larson said, no, put Velcro. I'm hoping the Velcro will hold on to all my junk that I'm, you know, because we never think about how much stuff we put in our stuff, right? <laughs> how much junk is in our trunk? And we're always overstuffing. And I'm notorious for overstuffing. Um, and so we are going to do that we're gonna um uh we're gonna alter it to make it pretty buttons to close i thought about buttons but here's the thing kim i'm not a I, i'm not a seamstress i would i don't even know how to you know i know i could probably you know sew a button here and here but you know how the you have to do the button hole i don't know how to do that on my sewing machine i don't i don't even think i want to try that it would be cute with a button. How about the snap? Snaps are perfect. That's a perfect idea. Because the back will, will keep falling off after a while. And when you wash it, too. So snap will be better. A snap? Yeah, the snap. 
Snap would be really good, but we're gonna use we're gonna use Velcro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this girl here is not that. Um, I don't know how. I've never attached a snap. Um, I don't. You know, I think I've attached a snap to one of my clutches, but it was it had the little prongs in the back, and you kind of bend them back. But I don't know. We're gonna do Velcro and see how that goes. Velcro it is. Absolutely. That's what we're doing. Elastic and a loop. <laughs> yeah, that's what um, Eric said. Put an elastic. Um, and I thought, well, it's not if I put the elastic, it's not going to go over my chair, my armchair. But I thought that this I can and I put two little things here two extra because this one only has this clock and these two pockets, so three. So now I have one, two, three, and four pockets. And I could probably, you know, put that there. Or also my heat gun, because I have to reach all the, all the way over to the other side to grab my heat gun, it's grungy. I could probably put it on that side, my right side, and I put my heat gun on it. Great idea, me. yay. Yes. So anyway, that's what we're making. And again, um, we have this as the pattern and it's the cheapest bad pattern. And for those that came in late, I just kind of, instead of doing this funkiness here, because <laughs> this is not even straight, this is round. This one's round and this one's, straight. I don't know. It's like it's supposed to have been round, but whoever was sewing this did not do a good job. So you're just going to fold this in half. And if you want, cut it straight. And then use this and cut your, your, your canvas. I suggest canvas or denim that's very heavy. Um, you want something heavy, not something flimsy. Um, and then just use that as your cut, 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 leave about a quarter inch steam and cut, cut, cut. Great idea, thank you. Yeah, I know, the Dollar Tree, no perfection there. We've probably done in a sweatshop. <laughs> sweatshop over in China, you know? That's how it is. China sweatshop. All right, so let's let's figure out where I'm gonna put this Velcro because I'm gonna have to use my little chair, my chair as my model of where I'm putting this. I guess I could show the camera, but I really have a mess in here, and I don't think you guys need to see my mess. It's okay. My mess is like. Pretty grody, guys. All right. I'm thinking around here is where the Velcro is going to end up. One's going to end up sticking to. So if I went. And then you can shabby it up and make it pretty. Eric Larson said, Mr. Larson said, oh no, work for one word. You won't <laughs> be strong enough. He's making fun of me, guys. That is what I heard earlier. Is that what he's saying? He's making fun of me, guys. So should I smack him? He's making fun of me. Can you believe that? He's telling me how to craft now. He's got his little craft room in his. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start recording him on this craft room. I just yeah. bought that ruler. Wish I would have got the 12 inch. The one I got is too long. Yeah, it is too long. I, the reason I got it is for the designs. Whenever I do designs, it's perfect for me. But if you're not doing any designs of 12 inch, um, probably not. But I, I, I tend to make projects that are big, so that's probably why. All right. So this is gonna go. Here, about so. So I'm gonna put glue 
Where's that glue stick? Oh, I guess my glue stick doesn't want to glue it. Darn it. I do know I got to go and sew that. So we got to go sew this, the, um, what do you call this darn thing? Stick a glue stick? The Velcro. Oh, okay. We're going to glue the Velcro. Yeah. Yeah, Kim is a teacher. Right. So she's going to... I can't believe that teachers have to buy this stuff for their classrooms. You would think the school district would give the teachers that. No, not, not anymore. That's like insane. They don't get paid enough for that. Nope. All right. They pay enough and they have to still go buy the stuff for the student and their self. Velcro comes in different strength. Oh, now you tell me. I didn't <laughs> see? I didn't know that. Hopefully this is the right strength because it was in the register. Is this is this got to be the right strength um, because it was by the register and I didn't want I didn't want to travel too far because it was like an afterthought. And Mr. Vel Mr. Velcro man there was saying I told you to get Velcro earlier. <laughs> He's telling a crafter, just because he does a little bit of fly fishing stuff, he thinks he can now tell me how to craft. Believe that? Believe that, man? <laughs> does a little bit of fly fishing, and he thinks he owns the place. <laughs> so maybe you should film him next time. Yeah. Um, Kim, I feel sorry for you teachers, because I know you see, I hate that. Look at that. A waste of glue. I feel sorry for you teachers because y'all have to sit there and buy all that stuff. I don't think it's fair. No, it's not. Not I when I was going to school. I am going to let this probably sit with um, the crafty tack because I'm not putting that gummy stuff in the sewing machine. I've already killed the sewing machine enough. <laughs> yeah. Eric is so funny. What's he saying? Until you take my garage over again. Oh, he's already saying, he says, are you taking my garage again? Does this mean I'm losing my garage? <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. taking over all your house, Eric. Watch out. You and your crafty ideas takes over my garage again. <laughs> the kitchen, the room, the family room. <laughs> <laughs> in the bedroom, in the bathroom. I know. <laughs> One room is not enough, Eric. I need the whole house, Eric. I'm we moving need the in. Whole house. <laughs> I'm moving in. <laughs> guys, we are funny in this house. You guys need to see our some of the humor. We're gonna be camping. I, maybe I should be taking some. Um, video recording. We're going to camp on our backyard. Build her a she shed. Oh, are you building me a she shed? <laughs> oh, oh, Amy, yes. Put that bug in his ear to build me a she shed. Then you'll never see me in the house. And Amy, I added some little extras. So you're going to see some little extras in your little, your little, um, your little journal. <laughs> what do you think, smart ass? That's why I set up the family guest house in the backyard. <laughs> you don't have a family guest house. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna he's gonna start he's gonna start seeing the, the Puerto Rican flying lips. <laughs> you two are so funny. Puerto Rican flying lips is what he's gonna get. Did you ever try to travel together and make a comedian together? Husband and wife comedian show. It sleeps 10. What, your your tent sleeps 10 people? It sleeps 10 people. It's hilarious. He's talking about the tent, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's being a smart, he's being a smart booty. You two should go on a comedian road trip. 
Hmm. I'm not worried about that seepage. You know, I think you can put the lace on there. Well, no, not too much. Um, well, I will put lace on there, but um, it should dry. I think it dries clear. I don't know. Hopefully it will. If it doesn't, then we'll put some lace on there. <laughs> Guest home house, not tent. Um, yeah, you know, it should be because I measured it a little, so it should be enough to fit. And if it's not, um, uh, we'll be moving it, uh, Risty. It should be, though, it should be, um, enough because I measured it, so it should be enough. But you know, this baby takes forever, so in the meantime, while well, that's kind of taking forever to glue, and I can do the velcro. I guess I can decorate it with some prettiness so it's not so yes mr. Larson says it's guest house not a tent it's a guest house oh really is that where he is, is that where he's planning I don't know if he's gonna put you in there or he's gonna move in there <laughs> we have a guest house I did not know this this must be one of his um He's always saying he has a um, million dollars because he goes by Bob's something. <laughs> Maybe he's building your gas house so you could have a big craft room. I don't know. Maybe it's one of his personality, his multiple personalities. Because <laughs> the Eric I know doesn't have that kind of money. <laughs> Maybe he might be surprised for Christmas. Maybe, maybe he won the lottery and he's just yeah. not sharing it with me. He's yeah. not, he's not sharing because he cares. <laughs> he's, he won the lottery, so he's trying to surprise you for Christmas. Yeah, uh, keep thinking that. <laughs> no, he's not, not telling me something. He's got money he's not telling me about. Not a craft room, a studio. Oh. So we're going to call it a studio, right? Not a craft room? No, not Bob. I cannot disclose my real name. <laughs> I'm telling you, ever since I've met him, he's always had this weird thing about his name um, being... He's, he's, he, he, if he's I didn't know his, Yeah, if I didn't know his father, I would have said, you know, maybe he's right. Maybe he's not just something. <laughs> That's why you're getting along, because you are too funny, too. All right, we're going to cut. A studio. <laughs> Maybe it is building your studio. It's that mouse. It's that mouse. I'm telling you, it's that mouse. The mouse is... <laughs> Did you find the mouse yesterday? <laughs> The mouse. I'm telling you, ladies, it's the mouse. That is so funny. And we can do random pockets or kiss. Just like I said, this is that placemat from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> what do you think, smartass? It's an amazing guest house studio. One bedroom, no electric, no plumbing. His his, his kind of li uh, lifestyle. He loves that kind of stuff. So it's all green greenhouse. So he won't mind if I move him over there and take over the house. Is that what he's trying to say? He won't mind. It's a freelance uh, house. Nothing wireless. Hi, Yvonne. It's wireless. Yeah. It's, it's a wireless house, huh? It's a, a smart very house. Wireless. Yeah. Smart house. Well, he's very talented building your studio. He's building my studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep dreaming that. Keep dreaming that. <laughs> don't, let him, house. don't let him oh. fool you. Eric, I didn't know you were that talented. You built mm -hmm. your I didn't. Studio. Well, you know, young, young Sue, to be fair and to be honest, I didn't know he was that talented either. <laughs> oh, he, so he kept the secret from you. He kept it a secret. It's a secret. All right. <laughs> 
So while the Velcro is um, gluing so I can run it through the sewing machine, we're going to patchwork this um, placemat. And I could have placed it attached there, but I chose not to. Um, like I could have gone in and done an entire piece like that. But I wanted to see the, sep the separate variations of pockets. Because I'm going to put some um, trim in. Let's see this doily. As you all know, I'm going to have my funkiness. Read what Eric said. <laughs> okay. mm, you already forced me to a very small corner of the house. <sighs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> But in this case, hubby. <laughs> yeah. I already put him in a small corner. He's on timeout. He's in trouble? He's in trouble. He's not allowed to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's a timeout, huh? He's on timeout. But he's building your studio, man. <laughs> I'm so glad you believe him. <laughs> you, he's building your wireless. Studio. I'm really, I'm really glad that you honestly fell for that lie. <laughs> it's, it's a very good lie. It's not very nice to lie to people. Nobody puts baby in the corner except me. <laughs> put baby in the corner. <laughs> I didn't know you had a baby. I didn't Sorry. either. I didn't know you had another baby. Where I didn't either. I didn't either. We're learning something new. Studio and the baby. Eric, what's it? Is a girl baby or boy baby or the twin? <laughs> oh, that's right. You had a triplet, huh, man? That's why you were out for a whole year. <laughs> I had a triplet? For yes. real? No, I remember we were so shocking. Oh. All right, so I cut here and I'm going to tuck that in. And we're gonna do oh that's pretty. Oh yeah, we that is pretty. See, you put it down like that. And then that's gonna go there. Maybe I did it this way. Oh yeah, well, let's put the scallop on the top. Isn't that pretty? Guys, that yes. is gorgeous. That's very pretty. Eric, what do you think? Isn't that amazing? He's going to say he did it. He designed it. Oh, you designed it? Yeah. So, so you he... just, so he designed it. So you're just putting the, he's just altering it then. Huh? Yeah, he, he's going to tell you he designed it. I see. Okay. See, I didn't know he was that talented either. See, he's building your studio. He's designing for you. He's talented. He's talented in many ways. <laughs> he's just talented in his own mind. In his yeah, mind. he's under very talented. His, under his brain. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Keep telling yourself that one. Uh huh. All right. This is the the Hobby Lobby room. That no, I don't like I saw this. That one. I was gonna get it, but I said no. I have enough trims and laces at home. Yep, you don't need any more when you have a when you have it, right? Ooh. Right. Ooh, 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 guys. What'd you ooh. find? Uh oh, ooh, she found one. something. Oh, you bought that one today too, huh? No, I didn't buy this one today. I bought this a year ago. Oh, okay. This is one of the things that survived. That wants to survive from your. It's, it's the survivor. I like so that. So that won't swim over to you, huh? It's fantastic. I didn't design it. I found I found it. <laughs> I used <it> for that. <laughs> oh god. You the project. <laughs> yeah. You see how he is, guys? Can you believe that? He I like that. that. I I didn't know he was that funny. <laughs> you didn't know he was that funny, right? No, and I did not know he was that funny. Talented. <laughs> no, you didn't. See? Now you know. Inquiring mind wanted to know, and now you know. 
<laughs> this is another Hobby Lobby trend. See, don't want to see he's in the phone talking to us. <laughs> I'm kind of liking this one though. This denim one. I'm, I, I'm a grungy kind of girl. I like grunginess. I don't like things to be. If I wanted something that was from the store, I would have bought it at the store. That's just how I think. Is there any yeah. grungy stuff too? He had no choice. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor Andy. Here's another doll, uh, Hobby Lobby trim. Oh, that's pretty. I like that great one, that silver bluish one better. Silver blue? Yeah, the one you have right now on your hand. I like that one better than the black one. Although, you know, I am going to be putting an image here. Okay. So maybe I should select my image before I even select right. it. Correct. But I do. Right. So here, for this here, again, if you have old placemats or even an old doily, you can just cut a piece, tuck it in. You're not going to need a whole lot, but you still want that sturdiness because remember, this has got to hold a lot of stuff. So the sturdier, the better. This is really stiff, and I like that because when you're making a wall hanging, this this particular crocheted placemat is perfect. Is that a placemat? It's a placemat, yeah. I got, I got at a Hobby Lobby? Yeah, this is um, a couple years ago when I did one of the uh, clutch kits. Right, okay. That's and I good. found it in the closet. And I'm like, oh, my God, I thought I had gotten rid of it. Nope, that one's from Nova to you, too. Yeah, this was from it's spring. Surprise. Yeah, it, it was spring. And they normally put the year, but this was 2012, actually. Wow. Spring 2012. <laughs> That one in a black trim survived. Okay, so let's glue this one down. I think I'm good with gluing this. I know that we're going to use, we're going to keep this. So I'm just going to go ahead with hot glue gun. My glue gun doesn't want to stretch that far, guys. I don't know why I have this song. I'm a survivor. <laughs> Angel has a question for you. What's the question? I might have the answer. I might. Read it. Are you, I'm not sure what she's saying. So. May, first of all, Lourdes, you have known me for a long time. Three years at least. Why on earth are you spelling my name M-A-Y? I um, go to back the basic with some kind of stiffener. Uh, no, this chipboard. Chipboard. No, I'm not backing it up to chipboard because this canvas is really thick, and this placement is very thick. So I'm not backing it up. Um, but you know, I guess if you guys are making it at home, you can. You, want this to is from, you can't do the chipboard because it's for hanging and it's not going to I mean, look good. If you want, you can, but um, it's don't. for the chair and a bed storage on the side. Right, right. And the other option that I gave you guys, if you guys don't want to do a canvas, if you have an old apron that you want to use for a chair, storage organizer that's another idea um use your old aprons i think that's a wonderful right. way of recycling your old um oh, apron. old drape you have at home oh yeah no it, drapes are very heavy yeah drape it would be and so if you have that, would, drape that, that would be for really the good set, yeah, for the garage sale or thrift shop it might have this old drape right right
Guys, I got to turn the overhead light here. Okay, go ahead. Because I can't see. You're fine. You see clear. I can't see. I'm going to have to start doing these classes. Is this hour okay oh for you guys? Oh. Is it that I'm fine. I don't know about the ladies, but I'm fine. Okay. It's better for me only because I know that I got my assignments done. And I can jump in here and do this and not worry about anything else. Um, and my second, I'm not that. I know. I'm sorry. Remember, I have one working eye and I can't see well until I have a cataract procedure done. Lourdes. Um. The Y and the I on the keyboard are separated. I'm just kidding. You know I'm giving you a hard time. I don't care how you say my name. <laughs> my name is actually Mabel. People always call me Mabel, and I really hate that because my name is Mabel. Um, my nickname is May, um, but my family always calls me Mabel. Yes, I could be using my little spatula. Hello, say hello to my little friend. I made a pretty flower yesterday, see, last night. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, yes. Oh, and guys, I got to say something. Shadi needs lots and lots and lots and lots of prayers. You guys uh -oh. do your prayers. Um, please keep Shadi in your prayers. She needs massive prayer. Is it, is it her mom? Yeah. Oh, no. Lots and lots of prayers. Um, I just got a call today. So please keep Shadi Dollar in your prayers. Um, she needs prayers, guys. Now all we have to do is the inside here. here. Lots and lots of prayers for shoddy guys. Please. doing the left and then the right because I, I you know Luda, that's a sign of old age when you start getting cataracts right just kidding you know I'm messing with you okay you think that the velcro is getting there it doesn't look like it it's still kind of I'm going to leave it hang a little bit more because I can see it there. All right. Let's get this out of my way because it's getting on my way. All 
I'm a survivor. And then you can even use little pieces of. Do this word in Spanish. I can't read it. I'm sorry. Vete para la miel da mujer. Oye, que vulgar eres. Que vulgar. Ay, mamá. Que vulgar. Que vulgar. This is my leftover from yesterday. And look, it even looked like a pretty little pocket there. Oh, that's pretty, May. Perfect. I know, but you know what? I wish I had a third piece. Oh, you don't have another, another one? I don't think so. I think we only had two little corners. Que vulgar. We could probably space it out this way. No. Maybe. Not sure. Maybe. Hi, Miss Carol. How are you, hon? You need to get on um, Lourdes' case. She's being naughty. Uh-oh. -uh. What is she doing? Lourdes being a naughty person. She being <laughs> me. She says her bad eyes affect him, her language. Her bad eyes are so blame it on the bad eyes, right? Blame it on the black the bad blad 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 eyes. <laughs> blame it on the blad eyes. Every time I see that, I'm a Miss Carol. She's blaming the bot. See, she's blaming on her left eye. She's blaming it on her left eye. She can blame it on her left eye all she wants. She know I know her better than that. <laughs> see, I'm stuttering. Oh, oh, she can brave. She's a keyboard warrior. Get a little bit lippy over there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're on the other side of the town, not to the... <laughs> Little Miss Lippy there. Gotta do something about those Puerto Rican lips. Oh. Oh. Good thing you're separated from the screen. <laughs> What's she saying? You're stuttering. I'm stuttering. That's what she said, right? I know. Mm -hmm. I saw her little comment that I'm stuttering, and I said that's why she's got little lippy lips. That's why it's a good thing you're both a separate screen. <laughs> she says she still has a toe. She has a what? Toe to t teach the type. <laughs> I she really related to Eric. <laughs> She's funny. She has a toe to teach them to type. <laughs> yeah, she has a toe to type. <laughs> well, there is a people who can't ha don't have a hand. They do eat their foot toe. So <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> so she's gonna teach teach her toe to type. <laughs> Are you going to teach your toe to craft, too? Um, is she going to teach her toe to be hush, hush? <laughs> is she going to teach that toe to be a hush, hush? Uh-oh, trouble has a bad cold. Oh, Miss Carol, you better take care of yourself. <clears throat> oh, Miss Carol, you need one of those. What do you need? Toes? You need some toes to tight, Miss Carol? No, she has a cold. No, she says she needs one of those. What does she oh, need? She needs one of those. You need one of those toes. You need one of those toes, or do you need one of um her amazing uh, little crafting things right now? She's doing. Oh, look at those little girls. Oh, they're cute. 
I've seen I've seen people paint. Yeah, I've seen people paint with their you it to me. These pictures? What do you have? What do you have, Young Sue? Young Sue. Those Hello. Are the print. The girls. Oh, the images? The, the, you uh, have the print. Yeah, the images. I can't talk either. I think Angel, you're. Uh, Angel did to me. I can't talk either. Yeah, she's being contained. She's passing her um, Lulde, her Lulde. Um, her her Lulde. Um, see, and it made it easier by by cutting that because then I know where that line is. See, yes. Oh, Carol says she needs one of those arm dress organizer. Oh, you do, Miss Carol. See, see Miss Carol, I, you know. I was thinking about you when I made this, Miss Carol. How you need you need one of these. It's one of those perfect little caddies. Well, before I cut, what do you guys like? Do you guys like that? Um, you know, um. Yes, Luda's like the trim with the image. I I don't know. Um, I'm I'm having second thoughts. No, it doesn't blend too well. I like the black one. Try the silver one, the, bl the bluish silver one, the one I like. I like black one better. Yeah. Yeah, black one's better. It, it brings it's out a, the picture. Yeah, it's a blue jean one. Yeah. It's blue jean. What do you think, ladies? The blue jean one. They all like the darker one. Yeah, they like the black one. Well, Miss Carol, I, I think you need one of these. I think I need to send you one of these. Wait, I think you do with your ability to just speak. <laughs> what, does, what does she say? She says it's nothing to do with her toe. She says don't blame the toe for our ability. No, I'm blaming the mouth. <laughs> I'm blaming the mouth. You hear that, Angel? <laughs> You're cracking me up today, Angel. She must have some nice coffee, man. She's hmm? funny. She's been funny today. She must have the wild coffee. <laughs> She must have had those wild Puerto Rican coffee. Uh, she must have. I don't know what she had, but I'm telling you, ladies, she got a little bit of a lip problem. Do you think she shared it with Eric? I think it was a little bit contagiousness going there. Contaminated <laughs> waters. <laughs> Do you think she shared it with Eric? Because Eric's been funny too today. I don't know. I don't know what is going on. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty like that? That is pretty. I want to make one for my bed. <laughs> I need one for my bed. You need one for your bed. I know. These are so cool looking. Uh -huh. All right. So we're yes. going to do that. We're probably going to put small... <laughs> Excuse me, I got to hear that. Eric says, I think the lip problem is a Puerto Rican thing. Oh no, he did not go there. Ooh, Eric in trouble. You better watch out. You better hide your corner. She's I gonna think, commit the flies. I think he's gonna see. He's gonna see. He's gonna hear. Mm-hmm. Miss Carol, do you like the denim? I like the denim. Do you like the denim, Miss Carol? Because I'm I'm gonna make this for you, Miss Carol. I'm Aww. making this for you, Miss Carol. Yeah, because she got a lot of grandchildren that could be a hard friend. Well, and she's always she can't she can't get up and move around as fast. No, she can't move around. 
Yeah. That would be perfect for her bed and her chair. Uh, Miss Carol, you won the prize. We're making this for you, Miss Carol. We are. We're going to give you this. I don't know about your husband and your friend, Angel. Those. <laughs> Why you gotta be my friend? Okay, this is another Hobby Lobby trim, guys. I got that one today. You did, and this pretty is one of my favorite yes. trims. See what it made it to me? She told me to go to Hobby Lobby, so I had to go to Hobby Lobby. Oh, you're blaming me for that? Uh-huh. Yeah, Sue. You're supposed oh, yeah. to be my buddy. You're my best friend. Yes, you like the denim. Okay, you like the denim. All right, Miss Carol. We're going for the well, denim. That's why I went to Hobby Lobby for you, May. Because you say you're my best friend. Best friend yeah. has to stick together and go shopping together. <laughs> you right. went yesterday, so I had to go today. See, I had to buy the same thing what you got. See? Oh, I Monkey see. Okay. see. Monkey see, monkey do. Okay. I, I, I'll forgive you this time. I'm going to forgive okay. you this time. Okay. Oh, oh. Dang it. Everyone is getting it tonight. No, this one's Miss Carol. For real. This is Miss Carol's. No, she's getting She's talking about, I think she's talking about being bullied. <laughs> Each other. <laughs> uh, Carol We're says making, thank you very much. We're making this one for Miss Carol. She needs it. Hopefully to fit your chair, Miss Carol. If you if it doesn't, you can tell your husband to take go to um um office max. Eric, since you're being you're here and I know you're stalking me. Um, where did we buy this chair? So that her husband can go get her something that she can use this on. Hopefully it'll work on her chair. No, she meant the comments. Oh. Between between Eric and Angel. Lucas, they're both <laughs> being funny today. Yeah, they're both being lippy today. Not funny, lippy. I'm a keyboard warrior. Who said that? Eric. He's a keyboard warrior. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He knows and, better. Yeah. See, and then Angel says, don't make me use my good eye and a toes, Eric. Uh-huh. See? Told you it was them two. It's them two, huh? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. See? All right, we're just measuring and figuring out lace placements. You probably the gonna... chair at where? N O N Y A. No. We got the chair. Where did we get the chair, Mister Lips? Where did we get the chair? He says at Nones. At who? N O N Y A. I have no idea what he's trying to say. He's speaking another foreign language. I'm spelling out to you. N O N Y A. Oh, oh, no, he did not. No, he did not. <laughs> He's saying nanyas. Nanya. <laughs> oh, oh. I have to, I have a defense. I think my coffee was spiked. <laughs> Since he being lippy, don't you think I, I deserve coffee for a reward for putting up with his lips? None of business. Yeah, none yeah. That's what he means. None your business. Oh. How do you think I should respond to that one, huh? You got the chair at none of business. Ooh, Eric, you're in big trouble. You're yeah. going to naughty chair. Is he going to go to naughty chair? He's on timeout. Ooh, Eric, you're in timeout. You're going to, you're going into, uh, what is the? He's on timeout. He's going to the guest house tonight, huh? He's going in. He's going in somewhere.
Uh, and just says, I haven't heard that for a while. What, Nanya? Uh -huh. He says he got it at Office Depot. He says we, we think he got it off the Depot. He thinks. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's. He's trying to mellow it down now. He's like, uh -huh, I better mellow it down. I'm ready for the guest house. He's ready for the guest house. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are, we put this uh, Hobby Lobby trim down here. And then um, I'm going to cut enough of this to go in between. And see, it makes it easier when you uh, cut each placement so you can carefully align where you're going to put your ribbon. And I'm going to go right up in there to the tip of that one lace, trim that off. So that when I lay, so it's right on that one. And then this is going to go, because that has a little bit of um, eyelets. I need to cut this one just a tad bit. I don't want it to... Um, Carol says better than a doghouse. <laughs> yeah. He might make it to the doghouse. Miss Carol. He might make it there. I'm going to flip it. We're going to flip this one just like that. And then we're going to glue this in between those two, in between each little pocket. Do I have another one? Yeah, I do. And don't throw your scraps. Perfect for junk journal, whatever. Flowers, whatever. It's perfect for fill it, fillers, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Those uh, pieces of scraps are wonderful for the whatevers. Miss Carol, I'm going to need your address, hon. I don't think I have your address anymore. Mr. Mr. Larson is running his mouth, and he was supposed to be sewing up some buttons. And he's been running his mouth quite a bit, guys, quite a bit. How's that? We're going to glue it down. We're going to glue those down before we glue anything else down. Stop right there. I got to work on that baby shoe for... I had to work on that baby shoe. Baby shoes? Yeah. Remember um, the other baby shoe that I said oh, I was going to do? Oh, the pair. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do it over here. Let me do that tonight so I can have this shipped out. I might do that tonight. Um, it's stupid you can see the chat. Eric and uh, Lucas are also funny. They're two are funny. Um, I don't know what you speak about buttons. He's on button duties. He's trying to run his mouth a lot. Oh, and he's that like, button. I see that kind of button. Mouth button. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. 
He's on oh, button duty. Funny. He's on button duties. He was supposed to be on coffee duty. He's lacking. His keyboard duty. His keyboard duty. <laughs> no, but he's running his mouth duty. Did you put Eric? At, did you put Eric as a moderator? No, you know what? I need to put him on there since he's being a a dookie. So he yeah. could, but he could push the buttons there. He's being a dookie. Since he's being a dookie. All right, so we got those done. Now we're going to do these. Got to find the right side and the wrong side of your trim. See what I said? It doesn't matter what. And you got to remember we got pockets here, so we can't do too much. So let's cover that up here so we're not covering. We're not confusing Miss Carol here. I just didn't like that one a little bit. You want to go on that lip. He's on coffee duty. He's failed his duties as a coffee maker. Need a sick, sick Miss Carol on him so he can make my coffee. Eric doesn't know it, but he has power being a button duty. He can button all our. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him any ideas, Lourdes. Don't give him any ideas. Too late now, man. So we're going to go just about a tad bit in from the seam just to cover up, not to just, we're going to put the glue right up here, but this trim is going to line in just like so, because I want some of that trim to show up. And I know that my light probably blind you guys, but if, oh, sorry about the camera. But if I don't have my light, then I'm going to be gluing things back uh, crooked. And I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> Eric says he's retired to the guest house for the evening. He's retired to the guest house for the evening. Hmm. I think Eric. No, he's not retired yet. No, guys. What should I do about Mr. Larson? Well, he know. is being really, I think that I think that that soup lace soup got to his head. I think it was too lace. much for him. Yeah, his oh, lace, lace soup. soup. Okay, the fiber. I think the light is good. Okay. Okay, good. Thanks, Yvonne, for letting me know. I just worry about <coughs> you guys. It blinds you guys, but I can't see. No, that's okay, mate. We're fine. We're not 
he's supposed to have put some lights above my head so that, and I bought a light um, the other day. What the heck? Oh, I was like, why is that? <laughs> There's two pockets there. I forgot. <laughs> Mr. Larson, you got to fix me light in the, her room. I'll tell them. Okay. He'll listen you have to, to tell him. Tell him because he don't listen to me. Mr. Larson, would you please fix the light in Miss Miss Carol? Just remember that these are the two separation for the pocket. So you got one pocket here. You can put your scissors, and then this is your third pocket. And so the lines is a division for you. Okay. Before you send it, I'll just put a little note there. Like a tag, you know, sticky tag, you know. Oh, that's so cute. No, <laughs> sorry, no, I'm looking at crafting. Gaby, ho? No, I'm looking crafting. Ah, huh. This is me crafting. I didn't say crafting, I said light. That's different. I'm telling you, he's getting lippier by the mile. Crafting and lighting is a whole different chapter, Mr. Larson. You tell him, young Sue. Tell him. He might, he might come and beat me up. You tell him. He's not going to beat you up. He's going to have a beat. I beat me up. I'm scared. <laughs> I gotta get my broom ready for him. You gotta get your broom ready? Uh-huh. He's a big man. <laughs> I think he's a keeper. Good man is a hard to find. <laughs> he's a keeper. We've been together for almost 17 years. Yeah, see? <laughs> Oh my God, what did he do without me? I don't think he know what he would do without me. He wouldn't have anyone to spend money on craft stuff. <laughs> or make your soup. <laughs> or make him lay soup. Yes, or, Carol, he's a he's a keeper. Or even bake you, bake you, bake him a paper for snack. <laughs> hey, he can't complain. He gets to he gets fed really good. He gets a lot of fiber soup and a big paper. He gets fed very good. He can't complain. No. <laughs> he has the best diet ever. He has the best diet ever. Yep. Let's very turn good it. diet. The best diet ever. The best diet to mankind. See, Eric, she's, she's watching your diet. See how good wife she is? Mm-hmm. And then he's going to have a bowl of ice cream tonight. Oh! <laughs> already had the bowl of ice cream. Oh! He, he, oh, he, he heard us, man. We're in trouble. He already but somebody chased off a key lime pie. <laughs> we won't mention any names, but oh, there's three letters. Three. There's a month. You have a month. There is a month. I don't know who that be, but you know, you're not missing. You're he's on a diet. Oh. He's oh, on a fix of light. Thank you, Eric. He's a fix. He's gonna fix the light. You honestly think he's gonna fix the light? I would fix the light. Somebody quit buying craft stuff, so I had the money to buy the light. <laughs> you see how you see how he treats me, guys? Well, he brought you ice cream, didn't he? he <laughs> is that supposed to compensate for the fact that he's lippy? Well, uh, you know, yeah. well, I wanted to write a comment that was made earlier. What comment? Broadcast. About 
best friend shopping. <laughs> you and me must be the best friend. <laughs> He heard that. Oh, oh, I'm in trouble. I told you I need to get my broom ready. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about the broom. It's too far of a drive. I don't feel like it. <laughs> it's too far of a drive. <laughs> He's so funny. He's very funny today. I don't know what he. I think it was that soup I fed him. <laughs> what did you put him in the soup, man? The soup. Oh yeah. The, yeah. Did you like that soup I made yeah. you? Yeah. What's it? Was it good? Good? Yeah. Was that least good? So, you know it was. The dog likes the guest house so much. Uh huh. He wouldn't let me leave. The dog. He, he, he literally grabbed onto my arm and pulled me back in. Did he? Yes. The dog liked the, the guest house. Really? He liked the guest house. Huh. He could have what the door was to appear. You know it was wide open. But that's why he's special. Come I on. cough. These are the laces that he ate today. <laughs> oh my gosh. He really did? He really did. He ate laces today. You Smile. mean the dog or the Eric? These are the one. No, not the dog. Eric. Oh, Eric, you ate the lace? Was it good? Fibery. It was high on fiber, I'm telling you. He had the perfect diet. Yeah, high in fiber, no cholesterol, no sugar, no carb. <laughs> I was going to say something. <laughs> it would come wrong. I'm in trouble, me. No, not you. <laughs> All right. I think I like, I'm, I'm guess. I'm trying to guess what we're doing. So I'm, I'm liking this one here because I'm trying to do random pocket designs on here. So I'm liking that one there. I'm liking this one with a little, like a pocket kind of thing here. Um, not very heavy, sturdy pocket, so Miss Carol won't be able to put anything, but it's just for cutesiness, you know? Okay. And then I like this here with this little doily off here. And then, um, and then we're gonna edge. We gotta get another doily. New this says you made a spaghetti lace. I made what? Spaghetti lace? Mm -hmm. I sure did. He liked that one. <laughs> he liked that. <clears throat> well, you can't even see that, so that'd be wasteful. Let's get that because we could use that somewhere else. Yes. Oh, wait, we need a trim here. What am I thinking? I didn't even put the trim down here. I'm like, why is that bare? All right, so let's get that down there before I forget again. Going right into the edge of that lace. Maybe there's something I was forgetting. Mm -hmm. Largest retailer. What's the largest retailer? What am I missing? Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I missed. Ice cream. Oh yes. And did you see how they were licking on ice cream? I mean, that's just Oh yeah, I know thing. that's it. I told Eric, you better make sure no one licked in that thing. That's well, just they had to seal those ice cream so long now on. If, did sure? you see the one with the soda pup? Uh uh. Yeah, she was opening the bottle. The soda bottle on the refrigerator by the beer section. Individual soda pop. Yeah, she was opening and tasting each one. That's disgusting. What is yeah. wrong with people? They're 
because they think it's funny and they're filming it and putting it on Facebook so they think it's funny. Well, that's not even funny. No, that's it's not. Disgusting. It's disgusting. Last. Oh, the Walmart, yeah, the Walmart ice cream. The largest retail Walmart. All right, so we're going to do, and I'm probably going to cut half of these little doilies because they don't need the whole thing. But first, I'm going to, I like this little design here. So I'm going to go ahead because I like that. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. If you had bigger doilies, it would have been ideal. But I don't have any bigger doilies. This size doily. I have it needed like a medium sized doily, so I'm just patching these up. Got glue on me. You see that big old glob of glue fall on my finger? Oh yeah, that. I like this here trim. I like the way that one came down. I really like this one. Oh. I can't wait till these nails fall off. I am just anxious to get, I don't know what possessed me to let someone talk me into the getting them. <laughs> oh, I am me. not digging big nails. Okay. You know, these little picture thingies, the printer thing, it's my only pet pee is that whenever you cut it outside, unless you rub it, it's hard to get them peeled off. I don't want to rub it because then I get it wrinkled and I hate that look on these. I guess I can get my piercing tool out. I always use these and pick up any lint and blue webs. That I need to pick up. I used to have one of those claw clothes um, lint rollers. It's what I used to use. Let me get some coffee. The sticky's good on them, but you can't. It, when you peel it, um, it's not sticky. This side is not sticky. The only thing that's sticky is what goes into the printer. Um, but other than that, it's not sticky. You can run it through your Xyron. Like this piece of fabric, if you run it through your Xyron, you can do that. Um, get a little sticky film on there. I'm going to use this here as my guideline. But, again, um, I don't have my Xyron Hot glue is fine. We can use hot glue. It works just as good. Ow. Got that one down. Uh, let's cut these half in. And then that will go like that. Let's get this one peeled. This one's easy.
I used to you get, the, I'm going to get a lint roller when I, we get paid. Because it's perfect for picking up the blue oh, web. Yeah. I like the, the lint. Yep. Flying all over. Yep, yep. Look. See? Perfect. Perfect. So we're probably going to do a little bit of a trim of doily there. And again, we're using this little guide here um, to place my image. That's probably a little bit too big, though. The doily, but that's okay. I like it. I don't know if Miss Carol likes it. And I can probably save some of this because you're not going to see all that. So we're going to cheat, cheat a little. Put that there and that there. Yeah, I think that's good. Eric made a little contraption for my camera, but the only thing is that I can't flip my camera around like I used to have it um, because the contraction doesn't allow for it. So. He used PVC pipes to get me the little contraction. Okay. So now we're going to go and put this one down. Yeah, if you had the Zyron, this would be perfect to run through the Zyron, these little images. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, you don't have one, huh? You used mm -hmm. to have it. I used you to. You don't have. like it. Yeah, the Zyron, the problem is that the last, I loved my Zyron. I had all three sizes. Problem is, for some reason, that the stickiness on, I don't know if they change um, the format. The, the formula. Indian. Yeah, if they went to a, chick, a cheaper, sticky, cheaper way of manufacturing the sticky because it got to the point where it wasn't sticking. And I called them and they said that they hadn't changed it and it just didn't last long, you know, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth having them. We can put that there on the corner. That's cute. We'll have that pocket there. We can even make little cute flowers out of those little scraps of. Someone goes, sees child abuse. Oh, well, I see child abuse. I'm going to report it quick. Check your phone out for real and see if really, you know. It's sad how people are. Yeah. You're welcome, Yvonne. Um, yeah, it's very sad how society has gotten so bad about stuff like that. And they're doing crazy things, I mean. Who would have thought going into a supermarket you had to check your ice cream before you brought it home? Even the soda, was it the soda that they spit in or peed in the soda? Yes, I saw that too. That's I mean, too. who does that? That's just disgusting. Well, it's just the, 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 the nerves of people that does this kind of stuff is like, where, where were your parents and why, why weren't you taught better than that?
Your mom and daddy needed to teach you better manners than that. That's just disgusting. Okay, so we're gonna tuck that in. Hopefully our little in idea here will work. I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping it does. Miss Carol will have to keep us informed on whether or not. I'm going to make one when I get canvas. I'm going to get my canvas and I want to make one for me. So, Miss Carol, you'll have to tell us how this little invention went. And take pictures and show us what you put in it. Show us what you put in it. Oh, well, she will. I'm gonna get my coffee down. Okay, so now we're going to cut and make some pockets and um, then we're gonna put the edging on our photos and we're gonna fix the top and hopefully my Velcro will work and we can stitch that down a little and then this baby will be done. So let's go see what we're gonna put on these images. To clean up these edges. Ooh, we should do this because you no. Know, this one will be cute because it is for crafting purposes. I think this will be cute. It's her crafting buddy. You saw the measuring tape crafting? Yep. It's a measuring tape from Hobby Lobby. I paid $1.50. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Hobby Lobby, $1.50 at 50% off was $3 originally. But I think it would be perfect for this because... It's going to be her crafting buddy. Mm, that's a measuring tape in ribbon. Oh, mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah, I found it. Never seen one like that. This one's not as shabby as the other one that I had gotten from um, a local shop. Uh -huh. It's not as prettier. It's a little bit more modern. I like the vintage looking kind, but hey, it'll do. Coffee. You can copy that. You can copy diet. <laughs> yeah, I would just say you can copy diet. Ooh, that's pretty. Might be a little bit of a tight squeeze on knees because we don't have that much room on this one, but we'll make it do. That's oh, glue, glue sticks to your nails. Where 
we're going to, I think that'll, I think that kind of hide a little bit from her face, but hmm, might have to change this one. Might have to go with something else there because that kind of takes away from her face. I don't know, Miss Carol, what do you think? This is yours. I don't care for it covering up too much of her face. Oh, wrong scissors. Um, but covers up some of her face. See what I mean? Uh, covers up some of her face. What if I cut it in half? The, the ruler? Might put something else because it kind of goes in. What if I just not put it on this one, put it on these, and then do something else? We'll see. Even this one is a little bit tight. All right, so we're not going to put these on here. Put that on something else. I do like, I do like the ruler, but it's just a little bit too small for that. I mean, too big. Sorry, not too small. Too, 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 too big. Let's see this one. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like Tori, this. Tori says, "How about just the top? Just along the top." Yeah, we could probably do that. The top. And Yvonne one. says, "How about if you cut it in half?" We could do this and then do this. Carol says, "Make the." Skinnier, maybe. Yeah, because it kind of takes away from her pretty face. I know. But we can do this there. And then that there on top. That way it doesn't take yeah. away from her pretty face. That's a better maybe. Yeah, this is another. Trim. Yeah, it's another Hobby Lobby trim. Again, you buy it when it's 50% off this week. If you didn't go today, uh, it's not going to be on sale, but it'll be on sale. Not in this coming week, the following week. He said it lasts for one week. <clears throat> it only lasts for a week, but they yeah. do it every other week. It's a rotating week. I see. Okay. All right, so we're going to keep it uniformed. Um, so everything is uniformed. I don't like things to be not so uniformed. All right, so right way and a wrong way to put your trim. So we're going to go there. I gotta clean my glue gun. It looks gross now. I got fibers on there. Young Sue made me cautious. She says, I don't like the glue guns dirty. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Young Sue, oops, my glue gun is dirty. <laughs> oh, you Not as dirty as I've seen some glue guns out there. They look oh, like yeah, they've no, been yours, through. Yours is be much better. Than other I saw people. one the other day that I was like, oh my God, that glue gun looks like it needs to be traded out for another one. Yes. Now, some of them are is ready to go in the trash. See, this one just really got fiber in it today, but it is kind of grody, and I want to have to get some um, goo gone and clean it up. You could take the what is it, aluminum foil? Uh -huh. When it's hot, just rip it off. Huh? Yeah, that's what the of uh, one of the YouTube lady did. Uh, she take when it's hot, when it's hot right now. Uh -huh. She take the aluminum aluminum foil. I'll crunch uh -huh. it up and just scrape it off. Uh, we're going to try that before this This is it. Or, okay. or you can use a glue gun. I mean, a glue gun. Goo -gon. Yeah. That's what I've used, glue gun. Yeah. Use that when it's kind of warm with a paper towel or cotton ball. That's what I do. Yeah, that's what I've used in the past, glue gun. 
when it's gotten really nasty. Cotton ball has a lot of fiber too, so I can use a paper towel. Oh, Yvonne is leaving. Good night, Yvonne. Thank you so much for joining us. You lost connection. Well, welcome back. We're just kind of gluing here and there and everywhere. And um, decided Miss Carol's going to get this one. And although you're not going to see that, you can still see through. And that will be pretty. So let's go do this side over here. I save these. Again, I like to save these. Um, when I'm working because it helps pick up some of that glue web. But Young Sue, before tonight, remind me, we're testing your little theory. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, uh, Smokey. I remind, but just don't, just don't turn off your glue gun. Your glue gun. Yeah. It has to be hot, warm, like what, right now. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure I get that out. No, I don't like glue gun. It's kind of dingy looking. Then my whole paper, paperwork or whatever you're working gets dirty. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw, I saw a glue gun in a video that looked like, oh, my God. Ready to uh, trash? <laughs> we needed to get a new one. Like, Yeah. If your glue gun is clean, then your project will come out clean. But if you're... Glue gun is dirty. Ugh. Imagine your project will get all that lint and all this stuff. Oh. Mm -mm. Sorry, ladies, uh, that's me. I don't care about any other stuff, but the glue gun has the only one has to be nice and clean. And my mat. <laughs> Those two, the only thing, main thing. Any other thing, I don't care how dirty it is, but scissor, glue gun, and my mat has to be clean. Oh, well, my scissors are dirty all the time. <laughs> I clean it that with my colleagues. Too. I take that one. You probably have an aneurysm with my 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 glue mess. Well, because I think when you work on some project, all that lint and all that stuff on the thing, it goes on the project, and I feel like it's going to. It's like a utensil when you're cooking. You want to use one utensil for this one, one utensil for that one. You don't want to mix it. <laughs> You don't want to taste, uh, put the spoon that you put your mouth in it and right. go inside. Or when you're stirring something, using one spoon for vegetable, one spoon for meat or soup, whatever, you don't want to, you know. And I'm talking about, you know, I'm sure ladies know what I'm talking about. Yes, correct, Tori. It's like a kitchen sink has to be clean. Clean, yeah. I've been coffee dyeing. I got to run my, um, uh, because it drips when I put the one cookie, it's a, one of the trays has little things on it because I use it for the lines and it dripped on the bottom of my, um, oven. So I got to run the oven tomorrow. Right, your kitchen has to be nice and clean, Tori. That's right. I, I agree with you on that one. If it's dirty, you don't know what kind of germ or what kind of... Yeah, you don't... You want, around the sink yeah. or, or the stove or anything. And, uh, and life happens because we're all busy. Right. But don't let it go for weeks and two weeks, you know. But one day is not going to hurt, but after a week later. Uh-uh. How are you liking it, Miss Carol? Lucky night. Thank you. <laughs> How are you liking it, Miss Carol? Miss Carol. Hello. I think she's asleep again. I think no. she falls asleep on us, too. <laughs> 
didn't have enough to go for this one. So we're going to use this on top of the doily just to give it some more oomph. Some more oomph into more. it. Lux. Yeah. So that's going to go like that. She says she loves it. Okay, good. Who doesn't love it, man? It's from your magic hand. Okay, <laughs> with her magic hand. And our craziness, because, you know, I just thought, you know, you're going to sit in your chair. Sometimes I'm lazy to get up and get something. I can just put it right there on my chair and I don't have to get up. After, after such an age, you okay, lazy. You don't want to get up because you say, oh, my back, oh, my leg. You know, I have a cracking. That's my grandmother used to always say. You just wait until you get to my age, young lady. <laughs> I like listening stories from young Sue's family. Um, she's got an interesting family stories, um, how they came to, to America. And I love listening to those stories. I like May's story too. <laughs> no, I like your stories. I think your stories are so interesting because your family came and worked really hard. And you had this thing about your grandparents, a love for your grandparents. It was special. You had a bond with your grandparents. Oh, yes. So I love listening to her story, guys. Thank you, May. You're welcome, my bestie. My bestie. Not sleeping. Do, do you hear snoring? <laughs> No, Miss Carol, we don't hear your snoring. Miss Carol, she's lying. We heard her. We heard you snoring. Oh, see, who you believe? <laughs> it must be my snoring that she heard. She's lying, Miss Carol. We heard you. We just didn't want to wake you up. You can go back to sleep now. Okay, we're not going to actually put a pocket here, Miss Carol, just so you know, okay? Just makes it look like a pocket, but it's not Yeah, good. yeah. <laughs> just kidding me. <laughs> oh, you just got lippy with me. <laughs> <laughs> would you guys would have known Young Sue was very shy when I first met her? Very, very Ooh. shy. Yeah, she was very shy. You know who I need to get reach out to, Miss Penny? I need to reach out to her. I think she's still unpacking or still moving. I hope. I hope she's okay. Um, oh, and congratulations to you, Miss Tori and the baby. Super exciting. That is so wonderful that he's home finally with his family. I know. That is so wonderful to hear that. Bless his little heart. Oh, yes, God. he's a warrior for sure. He's a little fighter. He was born for, I don't know, Miss Tori's okay with me sharing that, but I'll wait till she tell me. <laughs> he's okay, you can say. I can hardly believe you have gotten her to talk. <laughs> God is such an amazing God. I'm telling you. Yes, guys. Tori, she had me talk. Um, so Miss Tori's daughter had her son. Is it okay if I say it, Miss Tori? He's wonderful. It's okay. Yeah, she says, oh, it's fine. Okay, so Miss Tori's daughter had her son premature. He was born, what, two, almost two and a half months early? Um, so he was due, he was due today, right? July 27th is what I saw on his little uh, Facebook thing. And he was born May 9th or something like that. 
Yeah, he was born. I mean, he was born nearly two and a half months early. Wow, that is really. And so he's a little fighter and, um, you know, the power of God and prayers is so amazing. He went home yesterday. I still get cold chills when I think about that. Yeah, it looks like he's never been, he looks like a normal baby that was just born yesterday. He looks healthy. And his sister's holding him. Yes, she's such a cute little big sister. He's, she says, wow, you have it. <laughs> you did the, everything perfectly. Correctly. God is amazing. Yes, he is. He's an amazing God. And I, I am just, you know, that little boy, he's a fighter for sure. He's yeah, really God, a fighter. God do answer your prayers. Yes, he does. And he, he came and James is home with his family now. Hmm. Yeah, she's the thank you. She's the, the day I finally asked May for prayer. He totally turned around and got well. Oh, well, I definitely believe in the power of prayer. Definitely believe in that. So I said, we need to pray for Shadi, and um, she needs lots of prayers. Lots of prayers, guys. If you guys don't know Shadi, she's like a mother to me. My adopted little mom. Um, I got lots of little moms. <laughs> um, God has Shadi's her. Yeah. Real, like a real mom. To her. Yeah. Like yeah. Um, I got lots of moms because I got lots of people who's watched out for me since my mom passed away. But Shadi is an amazing person. She's got an amazing heart. And she called me today and you know she asked for prayers. And prayer it will be. But she's an amazing person. All right, it's coming along, Miss Carol. We're getting there. Miss Carol, do you think the water that I'm start talking to you? <laughs> that young Sue started talking to? Uh, maybe, you know, because she was so quiet. I, I don't know if you guys ever remember. Um, Young Sue, when we first started, she was super quiet. She never, hardly ever talked. Hardly ever talked. Sounds a little bit smaller, but I don't have this one. Yeah. I have to blame on me, my Betsy. Came out of her shell. She's an amazing person, amazing friend. She is. Now she talks. I talk. I know how to talk. <laughs> yes. Now she knows how to talk, guys. <laughs> now she will tell you if she'll tell you if she doesn't like something now. Before she didn't say anything, she just she just kept to herself and shut down. She literally would shut down. Well, 
much as I, I'm gonna have to go with this one because I didn't have enough of a big piece to Thank go you, around. Thank you, Tori. She, she says I'm too. I'm cute. <laughs> she is cute, Tori. She's super cute and funny. You guys, you guys haven't seen the funny side of her yet. Gosh, she's funny. <laughs> see the funny side of her. And she crafts every day. Literally, she crafts every day, guys. She makes all kinds of stuff. She makes everything under the the other day she was making flowers. Now she what were you making? Working on her Christmas decors, Christmas projects. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. There we have that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous. Ah, yeah, yeah. We're probably gonna put because we do have denim, we have these little flowers I got from Prima. So we're going to probably put some around here somewhere. And where's the bigger one? I wish I had more. I made this one by hand. Two is good enough, me. Yeah. Have a one on each corner. On the top of the like that? No, the top. On the top. Ooh, yeah. Yes. There? Yeah. That's cute. I like it. You like that up there, Miss Carol? What Young you Sue. Think? Young Sue picked it out. It's too plain on the top, and you don't want to make it a jumbo bumbo on the bottom. And I think that would look cute right there. This is the pocket, the insert pocket. So we're going to finish this one off like that. I think that would be good right there. She's just beautiful. Okay. Well, just know, Young Sue decided that your flowers would go right there. Oh, I wonder if I should put a tassel. Hold on. We might put a tassel. Yes, tassel. On. Hold on. Oh, Miss Carol, thank you. She says I'm sentimental. Oh, Young Sue is sentimental? Yeah. Yeah, she is. She's a keeper, Miss Carol. Well, Miss Carol says it. Young Sue is her little sister. Oh, yes. I adopted her. <laughs> Sorry, my hair's in the camera. I think that's stinking cute. Yes, it is. No, it's not sinking. Cute is beautiful, man. Okay. I have a little bit of this. I wonder if I can do this. Yeah, I like it there. That's what these little fine tip glues, glue guns are perfect because, um, and I have a link on my Amazon affiliate right there on my description and this YouTube channel um, on this video because these are perfect for little details like that. Um, just perfect. You don't have a lot of glob of glue and you don't want a glob of glue. You want as little as possible uh, where you need it. Miss Carol says to you, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, thank you again. Jesus. Thank you again. Beautiful. 
You're welcome. And I need your address so I can get this shipped to you this week. Yes. PM her address. Okay. All right. So let's put a little bit of a tassel to dangle here. Maybe some seam binding. I don't have. I only have green seam binding, and this is no green here. Um, let me see. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Um, wait for it. Stay, stay for it. I had, sorry, ribbon that I recycled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> blue, sorry, ribbon. I hope you like blue because this is actually blue, Miss Carol. I hope you like blue. Blue is pretty color. It's nice and cool color. Mm -hmm. I got this one. I can probably tear it up if I can get this undone where's your where's your undo undo and it's tied there's a big old knot there that's why oh, oh okay oh we could undo that to me <laughs> oh, this is sorry ribbon mr mr uh, what is name tim hope silver okay awesome we'll get this out to you this week miss carol there you go. We got it. I like this color better because it's kind of, I don't know. I think it's perfect for this. I got to get more sorry ribbon ordered. Sorry. What they call it sorry for? What they're sorry for? Um, this is silk ribbon. Is that why they call it sorry? Because it's I think so it's... It's, I don't know why they call it. So it's got kind of like a Arabian thing. Um, they do it in the, um, I don't know. What do you call that? In the Middle East. Oh, that's right, Tori. God, this is God's favorite color, blue. God's favorite he color. Painted the, ah, you're he right. Painted the sky blue and ocean yes you're right all right so we're going to add that to each corner i thought that was that adds a beautiful touch and it's cool color i like cool colors you want to make sure you don't close your pockets that's important after you work so I don't hard really you okay do the same on the other side Oh, your mom had a blue eye. Oh, uh, Carol's mom had a blue eye. Oh, she says her the God made her blue eye. Where's my yarn? I had some yarn. I she must be beautiful woman. Blue eye. Wow. Eric has blue eyes. Eric has a blue eye. Uh huh. Eric, are you beautiful or handsome? I heard you have a blue eye. He's, not, heading the tent. He's heading out to the tent, he said. <laughs> oh. No, you got a blue eye. You're beautiful. You can't go out in the tent. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's why you're camping out tonight. Yeah, they're yeah, we're gonna camp out. He's Instead getting ready. Of He's getting ready to camp. Yeah, he set the tent out in the backyard. We haven't been able to go anywhere this summer. How fun. And so that's our vacation. Are you going to um, buy your backyard, make mush melt the marshmallow and chocolate and make a smoke? I believe he went. We have a little stove, one of those camping stoves. 
Uh, I believe okay. he took her. He took Nani. Okay. Okay. She wanted to go on a road trip. Oh. Um. So this is our way of giving her a road trip. She okay. Was a beautiful woman. Yes, Miss Kara. I believe that. Blue I, eye. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to do, see that? That's beautiful. She's got functioning mm -hmm. pockets. It is adorable. And so now this doily here is going to go like so. We're going to glue that down, and then we're going to go and glue the, um, um, near the corners, much looks good. That's beautiful. Three girls, that's beautiful. If you're a little scared and skeptical about um, working with glue gun, what I suggest you do is work with um, Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac. Yeah, because you have more of a wiggle room to um, do this kind of work. Yeah, glue gun, hot glue gun is, is stick real fast. And if you yeah. use the Fabri-Tac, you have a, that wiggle room. Yeah, you have the wiggle room. room. Yeah, but with the minute with, of the second, you have to time. It. Right. Hot glue? No, you don't have no second. No, even nothing. Yeah, no, you don't have any. You, you, it's not forgiving. I mean, you can. You can do undo and remove it, but. Yeah, but it's, it's kind not of messy. Like, yeah. Well, with undo, it's not so bad. If you make a mistake, you can get undo. You could do it right away, but don't wait too long. To spend and no, actually, you can you can undo it with even if it's been glue for a while. You can with undo, but um, you know, some people choose not to make those kind of mistakes. Right. So if you don't want to make that kind of mistake, just use for you this. Can use that for things. Yeah, just um. Use your fabric tack and it'll work just great. I like fabric tack, but it's so expensive. It's very expensive. That's why I don't, I don't get it. And I don't like the fact that it kind of bubbles up like that. And what was it someone told me to try to do? Put it but, in cold uh, one water. One water. One water. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My thing was uh, Yvonne. Pe uh, I think it's a Peggy or Amy, one of those students that put it in one water. So see how easy it was to create a cute little organizer? Yes. All with a pattern from Dollar Tree. Now I can use that to make others. Well, I didn't make it quite like that, but got the base of it. All right, clean up my glue webs, and that's what she looks like. 
Um, I didn't glue the inside. See, that's a little loose in there. I didn't glue that. I could have gone in there. I guess I could have gone in there and hit it up with some glue, even with Fabri Tac. Um, the inside, uh, but I'm going to be stitching here soon. So I'll do that, but let's see this. So now I'm just going to go in and I'm going to sit down there and I'm going to stitch there. I guess I could have done that before I put this down. Huh? I might have to take this off. I didn't think about that. Uh, because the glue will be not good for your machine. Well, I'm going to have a stitch here and I'm going to have, where's that? I'm going to have a stitch going down here unless I put a big old image to cover that up. So I might have to remove, um, see, that's where I'm going to have to use undo and remove it up to here because I got that Velcro there. See, I wasn't thinking. <sighs> So she's going to show you how to use undo. Now we're going to use undo. And then she's going to show you how you do it. It's a good thing I don't put a whole lot of glue. Yes. And you can warm it up too. I hit the heat gun on it and but this way you don't have the clumps of glue. You know? And it does dry up. Correct. Or you couldn't use a heat gun. <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go and remove it up to where that Velcro is only. And then so the Velcro. Wasn't thinking about the Velcro. Sorry about that, ladies. No problem. Man. Thinking about the Velcro. But now you see how fast undo works, right? I don't know who came up with this undo, but this stuff is awesome. Where's the Velcro? Oh, halfway through. Where are you? Right there. Ta da! <laughs> And he, you can even, I've used this even on paper. Paper, right yes. So see, Be even careful the, with the paper, though. Paper is a little different. Although. It works on the paper, but just be careful. <laughs> yeah. See how easy it roll falls off? Yeah. The glue. Best thing is for the fabric and lace, but the paper, just be careful. <laughs> awesome stuff. And you can get it at Hobby Lobby and use your 40% coupon. Or Joanne, the coupon. Oh my, goodness, the coupon. Joanne has it? Yeah, they will have it. Yeah, I didn't think they had it. They have it? Are you mm -hmm. sure? Yes, yes. I oh. thought mine's at Joanne. Oh, well, it must be your Joanne's because mine don't have it. Yeah. I would I don't. I don't have Hobby Lobby. I just they just built Hobby Lobby just now, so I need to get it a Joanne. Yeah, and you know what? My Joanne's I, it's very limited. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First, before you put anything here, you want to sew in your um your Velcro. So let's do that, and then we're gonna finish this. We're almost done. How long have we been here? The five. Two, two hours almost. Oh, not too two, bad. Two and, a, two and a half hours. Oh, not too bad. This is 7.30 right now. Um, yeah, 7.30 here in my time. So, so it's 9.30 here. Yeah, so. Thank you. 
And I use black thread. I, I didn't change out my thread, Miss Carol. Because I'm using... <laughs> I'm lazy like that, Miss Carol. But, you know, you know, oh, I ran out of, uh oh, she ran out of thread. No, the threads broke off halfway through. I ran out of thread. That always happens. I know. In the middle of sewing. Like, hey, why is it not sewing? <laughs> ah, come on. Oh, I hate when the thread is so hard to get out. I don't know these sewing companies, they figure that you can figure out how to get out. <laughs> I think that you can get the um, thread up with how they thread it and make it so hard for you. Come on, people. Take your time, mate. Don't, you don't need to rush. I need some really good lighting. That's what I need. You do. You need the light from the ceiling. You need the light light bulb. Department store where you're on the top of the ceiling. Yeah, they, um, you know, when they built these houses, they assume that people have good eyes. I Even if you have a good eye, you still need us, you still need good lighting to do anything. <laughs> no, she fixed the sewing machine. She's not going off the window. <laughs> what? <laughs> Newton says, oh, oh, watch out. There goes the sewing machine off the window. <laughs> it's not wanting to sew. <laughs> Luda says what? She says watch out. She says there goes out there's a sewing machine out the window. It's gonna be a flying saucer, right? Oh Lord, the Lord, my eyes, my eyes. I can't see in these eyes. Just not helping me. All right, let's try this one more time. The young student's husband probably saying, what are you listening to, woman? Young student, does your husband ever say, what are you listening to? Oh, Miss Carol's being funny. Doing. 
What's she doing? She says she uh, one dumb thing she did was to teach the teach her three little girls to sew. To use the sewing machine. Why is that? All she did was a thread the needle. That was probably a smart thing though. My mom tried teaching me when I was younger to sew and I never wanted to, I never wanted, I was scared of it because she would always scare me about to say the singer machine were different, you know? Right. And she would say, you gotta be careful because um, I've seen people where they had to go to the hospital because they had their fingers put back on or whatever because you, you can still finger cut on the needle, I know. Yeah, and she would scare me and I was like, nope, I don't want to sew, nope, I don't want to sew. Sorry guys, my thread is keep coming off. And I battle. Battle of putting it through the hole. And Shadi said this is, has a, um, a threading mechanism. Think? No, this one doesn't. My other one does. Is that the more expensive one then? No, I tried working on the expensive one and it wouldn't move. No, okay. um, I don't know what's wrong with it. Shadi looked, the... looked at it when she came, but it's not. I think I think there's something else in there. The needle didn't want to move, so I'm thinking I, I, I'm just I'm just gonna have to get rid of it because I don't know how to mess with it. I think that's what it is. User error. Okay. More than anything, it's a user error. You know, I'm not I'm not a seamstress and I wouldn't know where to begin when it comes to sewing. Oh, well, you're sewing, so that's good enough, me. Some, part, some people don't know how to sew at all with the sewing machine. They don't even have to thread bobbin. I just made a big old mistake. Damn they it. don't even know what bobbin is. So You're just doing the straight straight sewing, so that's no problem for me. You're not making a fancy dandy. That's all it matters. All right, guys. No problem. I am having the battle of battle of the Velcro. I eventually, get the Velcro on here. Battle of the darn, the darn, 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 darn Velcro. Why couldn't it be as easy as putting glue on it, darn it? Right? How easy it needed to be. Easy as putting Velcro on, on glue on it. It's got to be Mr. Larson's idea to use Velcro. I blame him. I blame Mr. Larson since he suggested Velcro.
ladies. Let's blame Larson, Mr. Larson, for the Battle of the Velcro. They want you to take it to the dealer and have a maintenance work. Hold on a second. Okay. What's that, man? They want you to take the machine to the dealer and have a maintenance okay. check. Maybe some oil, maybe put on some oil or cleaning. Maybe well, it needs to be cleaning and oil. Sometimes you need to put oil there too, you know. Well, I took it last year. Remember when you guys, when we were live and I was doing a junk journal and I decided that it was going to get messed up and not work for us in the middle of our live? Well, I took it to the shop. They supposedly fixed it. And it's the same problem. So that was the first time I had used it since that one class. So I don't know what to think about the machine right about now. I think it's uh, just a lemon. You know, you got a, a lemon. Lemon uh, machine. A lemon machine. Now you got the Velcro on. Let's glue this baby. I'm going to put some fabric tack down. me she always have a problem with the machine i'm you know i blame the i blame the machine i, I blame the, I, think, I, I think we just have to get her baby machine i don't think it's me i think it's the machines don't like me ah no don't get on the fabric oh no here comes me with the machine <laughs> machines watching you machines hate me every machine oh, here comes me. It sees me. They say they see me. They say, "Oh no, here comes me." Yeah, run the other way. Here comes that crazy woman. It's just like the commercial was a cereal or the or, but it's a gingerbread man. He's running away. Okay. Hate battery tech because it gets all gummy. Oh, I know. But it works wonder. Yeah, but I hope that it doesn't work so wonder that it's going to have that. We'll get the bubble milk. When I have this glue. Where's that? going to test this little theory and see if this Velcro, if it doesn't work, I'm blaming Eric. Uh oh. Who are you going to blame me? No, Eric. Uh oh. Eric, did you hear that? Oh, he went out to go. He's out. He's out. He's out camping. Camping with his daughter. He's not hearing you. He's ready for the camping. He's ready for camping, yeah. They're just ready for you. We're going to put this one on here. And we're going to hot glue that one down so that you wait, can't see.
one thing I like about the hot glue, it doesn't stain through or anything like that. There we go. Is your uh, brother a sewing machine? Is it a computerized machine or the simple machine? Um, it's the cheap 70, I think we paid $70 at Walmart. Nani, Nani bought that for herself. Okay, there it is. Oh, got a little bit of a dangle here. All right, let's try this here. More glue here. Miss Penny, Miss Miss Carol's back is what is that what she said? No, uh, Ludo says she's back. She went oh. to get the dog out. She went to put the dog out. Okay, so Miss Carol, you will have to tell us how this works. And where you're going to put it. And where you're going to put it. And you're going to show us pictures of what you put in it. Because inquiring minds all want to know what you do with it. She's going to put an extra bit, maybe. She's going to put her reading glass there, her book. Oh, yeah, your reading glasses. Her TV map control. <laughs> There's some of these glue webs around here. All right. There we go. All right, there it is. That's beautiful. That's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna turn the camera. Don't mind my mess, guys. Seriously, do not look at the mess. Okay, we promise we won't look. Close your eyes to the mess around me, okay? Okay, turn around everybody. Don't look. Close your one eye. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and don't look at the mess around because I do have to, one eye. Tomorrow, I have the to other eye. <laughs> tomorrow I have to clean this mess. I know. I'm not going to clean it tonight because I'm going to go camping. Oh, Miss Carol says she's going to put her candle in there. Oh, I think that'd be great. Okay, let's turn the camera around. She loves, and she loves it. Okay. All right, so here it is. Beautiful. It's a beautiful gift, Tori says. Thank you for sharing your talent with me. There it is. It's beautiful. Yes. So you got a pocket here to put whatever. Then you got one, two. Probably your glasses will fit in there. Yeah. The glasses will fit in two. And then you have, you put your scissors on the other. Right? And I don't know, whatever you want to put on the other. So let's test the chair. Um, here's my chair. Where's yeah, the she's going to She's going to model on her chair. <laughs> there it is. Can you see it? Move it back, me. Move it back. There you go. Okay. That's fine. Yes. There it is. Yeah. And I probably could put a Velcro right there, which I might put a Velcro right there. 
a small Velcro. That'd be good. To close that up. She's going to put her phone in there too. But there's a little caddy. And on her candle. It should work. If not, just adjust the Velcro a little. So, perfect little fit. I'm just going to put a little Velcro right there. That's perfect, Disney. I'm going to put a Velcro right here for you. Where's a Velcro? Let's put the camera down. Okay, so we're gonna. We're, well, I'm not gonna sew this piece of the Velcro. I don't think we need a huge chunk of it; just a small one. I'm gonna smack it right there so that she can put. I'm just gonna put hot glue. Hopefully, that'll work. Oh, it doesn't. It's not that heavy. It will work. Right there. And then. She says it will work. Beautiful gift, me. Wow. And then, Miss Carol, if this adjustment is not to your, the Velcro adjustment is not to your, um, you're fitting what i would recommend you do is get one of your daughters to put a ribbon here and a ribbon here on each end and then just tie it on each end to around the fitting of your your desk chair so in other words put put a ribbon here and another one over here and just tie it um have them sew it in or something if it's this, if this here is not the size for your armrest, okay? There you have it. Let me get my glasses. I don't think you want my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be putting his beer on it. <laughs> yeah. But that'd be good, even if you're crafting in the, uh, you know, if you got, Crafting in the living room. I got a mess in here. I'm going to clean. I got to clean tomorrow. Oh my God. This is going to drive me up the wall. If you're um, crafting in the living room and you have a chair, just put that up to your chair. There you go. Um, that's a good one. Otter. Yeah. Otter. She's going to make one, too, for her fit. Yeah, so that way you can put all your yumminess on there. If you're going to buy these laces from Hobby Lobby, get it. Not this week, guys. Next this week. week is whole price. You're not going to get a discount. Do it. So the week of, I'll tell you, because I, I was working at Hobby Lobby. So the week of... Um, the 5th of August through the 10th of August, ribbons will be 50% off. Yeah, there you go. You can put ribbon on it. Yeah, put ribbon on it, do whatever. I will get this off to you this week, Miss Carol, and I hope you enjoy it. I have long overdue owed you a project. I'm going to sign the back of it. There. Wow, she signed it. Did you date it? Put the date okay. on it? Not. There. Uh done for you, Miss Carol. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you guys, I can't wait to see what you guys make. 
If you make something similar to it, let me know. Show me what you guys put in it. Don't forget to get your um New just is funny. Get your little sample from Dollar Tree. Tree. And if you run over there tomorrow. <laughs> if you can't get the sample from Dollar Tree, let me know. I don't I can probably scan it in two sections and see how that works. Um, but it's really simple, you know, even if you have an apron or something, just shape it up. You, you don't really need this to shape whatever long here and give it a body and that's it. And if you want the measurements of this full size, if you want to cut your own and don't want to spend that dollar because you got enough fabric, this is 18 inches, 20 20, 20 inches and a quarter, 20 inches and a quarter by 15 inches, 15 and a half inches wide. So 20, this is 15 and a half inches this way, 15 and a half. And this is the long way is 20 inches and a quarter. And then you got two pockets and it, the one was nine and a half inches by 15 and a quarter and the other one was seven inches by 15 uh, 15 and a half sorry nine and a half by 15 and a half and seven by 15 and a half you cut it two was a dollar tree Nutris. yeah dollar tree it was you're gonna put your hershey kisses in one of the pockets. Yeah, she's gonna put her hershey's kisses i was <laughs> oh god so, yeah, so just, you know, my suggestion is if you don't want to go and spend a dollar, um, just go ahead and cut something that is 20 inches and a quarter long and then just do a straight and go around. And it's going to be 15 inches and a half wide. Um, the top part, I didn't tell you the top part, what the top was. Let's go in the back here. I need a back in my chair. It's got all kinds of fuzzies on it from the thread. So, so this is 20 inches and a quarter. And from here to here, and it all depends on your chair too. Um, it's 10 and three quarter inch wide. So if you do 10 and three quarter inch wide by 20 and a quarter and just kind of give it a curve, you know, you get that nice little, and you can also make an apron like this, guys. Yes, so it looks like an apron. It looks like an apron, actually, it yeah. does. I, I could probably make an apron like this and wear one. I might do that when I get canvas. Little kids' apron, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, there we have it, Miss Carol. I will get it, and we got some vintage doilies on there. It's beautiful. But you're long overdue on one of my crafting projects, Miss Carol. All right, my dears. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Um, I hope you, I can't wait to see what you guys create. And I will be seeing you guys. Um, I'll probably do a pre recorded video sometime this week and show you some something else on that part five of our album and um, we'll go from there uh thank you Lourdes I hope you guys really enjoyed this I hope it was helpful oh yes I'm gonna run to Dollar Tree tomorrow uh, don't run the Dollar Tree. I can send you one because I got to send a package out to you, Young Sue. I can send you the one I have. The one I have here. Oh, May, you don't have to do that. Thank you, May. Or I can just okay. I can cut the pattern out for you when I get the yeah, camera. Yeah, you could do that for me. Yes. Yeah, I, I'll cut the pattern out for you. How's that? All right. Thank. Yeah, pattern fine. Yes. Okay. Pattern. Thank you, May. Uh huh. All right, my dears. Thank you, ladies. Bye -bye. Enjoy your camping.
a couple years ago, I bought some deer from you. I know you bought one of my projects. I bought you, I think you bought a couple of my projects. Mm hmm. But you're still a long overdue. I had kept saying I was going to send you something. So here it is. You're going to get this baby. All right, ladies. Bye-bye. Oh, that's right. You bought the deers. I remember. Deer, oh, the deer. Lord. The shabby deers I did. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was yeah. Ago. yeah, that was in 2016 when we did when I did that. Wow. Oh, that long was a time long ago. time ago. He, he, she remembers that. Wow. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I took some deers, some paper mache deers, and I put uh, covered it up with laces. So, oh my, you have to do another one like that. I, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, and if anybody, you know, um, I can see if you can't, if you can't, I know a dollar sometimes is even hard. I mean, a dollar sometimes is hard for anybody. Just let Correct. me know. I'll try to see what I can do as far as getting the the, the pattern down for you guys. And um, be wonderful. and I can get you guys the pattern. So just let me know, okay? Um, all right, guys. I'm going to go enjoy my camping with my child. You guys, it goes with good with your Santas. Yes, and I still, I, I have my Santa um, that I did and my other Santas. Um yeah, we had some good times, right, Miss Carol? We made some amazing projects, all of us together. Good, good times. We even had, uh, what was it, the grungy meets shabby with uh, Mrs. Uh, Snow, Snow Girl, the Snow Girl we did. <laughs> so we had some amazing Time. times. Yes, we did. All right, my dears. I'm going to go enjoy my family. I will see you guys during the week. I will post some small videos for you guys. Um, I have some other little things and ideas that I can, um, I want to make for organization. My whole thing, I want to do some organizational ideas and tips and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. And then Friday, um, same time, same place. I think we're going to be on the road, but I'm going to do something simple because I'm going to be on the road. So I think what we're going to do is whatever I take with me on the road is what we're going to work. Cause I'm Nani wants to go. Nani, no, she wants to go to a museum, a town that's kind of uh, has a lot of history in it. Oh, okay. Before she go back to school. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. So we're going to yeah. take her to that town. And so we're just going to stay yeah, that way. Her family. No, yeah, and then so I, I, we, if I come on YouTube, I'm just gonna be doing something simple, and um, like maybe some tags or something like that. That's what we're gonna do, okay? So okay. I'll see you guys during the week, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.